Hi everyone. So I just wanted to give you all an update on my crochet braids and also show you all how I moisturize my hair and cleanse my scalp as well. So here my crochet braids have been in for about two weeks. I have not recurled my crochet braids yet. Um, I think they still look pretty good. So I'll just give you a 360 view so you can see how the curls have dropped from my original video. And to me, I think the hair looks a little more natural now than when I first did it because they are like really up high and really tight. And since they have fallen, it's kind of gotten a more natural look to me. Um, I'll probably recurl the hair next week or in a couple more weeks. You know, when the curls start looking real crazy, I'll just come back and recurl them and I'll show you all how I do that. So, I'm going to show you how I clean my scalp. I have about this much water in the bottle and about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So, what you're going to do is, you need some clips to clip the hair out of the way. You're going to part your hair where you, know, you can see your scalp and you're going to clip the hair out of the way. And you're just going to take outside of vinegar mix and you're just going to spray your scalp and rub it in. And you'll make sure you're going to spray directly on the scalp and not on the hair because you don't want the hair to smell like outside of vinegar. So you do this all around each part of your scalp. And then you're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. And this is going to get rid of all the product buildup and if you use a lot of oil, which I do, it's going to get rid of that. Also, if your scalp is still itchy and irritated, then this will help stop the irritation. Okay, so now it's been 15 minutes and now... We're going to rinse out the apple cider vinegar. So what you're going to do is get a bottle filled with some water. This is the same bottle I use. I just rinsed out the apple cider vinegar with warm water, poured it in the sink, and then filled up the bottle with regular water. So what you can do is just do the same thing. This time you're going to spray an extra bit of water to help Lean your scalp. And this really helps alleviate itching if you have a very, very, very sensitive scalp. This will alleviate the itching because my scalp is very sensitive. Like, very sensitive. Once you spread your hair with the water, you're going to want to get some Q tips. And you're just gonna rub your scalp with the Q-tip. This is gonna help get that uh, build up off your scalp that the apple cider vinegar helped get off. So you're just gonna take the Q-tip and rub it. And you should see the build up on the Q-tip. So then once it gets dirty, you just kinda up to the end and go through. Okay, so now we're going to do a leave-in conditioner. So in this bottle, I have a little bit of water and some kinky curly knot today. You can use any leave-in that you would like, but I just used that one because I had it. So you're gonna put in some water and some leave-in conditioner in the bottle. And you don't want to just put leave conditioner right on your head because it's gonna like leave a build up mark so mixing it with water helps. So what you're gonna do is just take the leave conditioner and you're just gonna spray it on your scalp. And you rub it in. 
We go through all the parts, just like we did with the outside of the vinegar and the water rinse. Put our leave-in conditioner in, and now it's time for the oil. So this is my DIY oil mix. I'll be having a video for this next. So, um, I got this bottle at my beauty supply store, and I like it because it has the nozzle, but the nozzle is also like slanted, so it makes it for easy application to my scalp. So, what I'm gonna do is just take the oil, take the oil, and just put it throughout the scalp. And you don't need a whole lot because you don't want it all seeping down your face because I put like too much oil on my scalp one time and it was just like, I looked like I put Crisco all over my face. It was not pretty. So I'm gonna show you how to moisturize the hair. So I have this Canty Shea Butter, Coconut Milk, Shine and Hold Mist. This just helps um, make the curls not be so dry. So I just take a little bit of this and I just spray it on the hair like so. Just so it won't feel so rough and crunchy because this hair can get a little crunchy feeling. Just kind of spray all up in there. And sometimes, um, if I want to have to give the hair a little time, I'll just put some oil on my hands like this. Just a little, little dab and rub it on my hands and just kind of rub it throughout my hair. So at night, when I'm ready to go to bed, all I do is I have my bonnet and then another scarf. And what I do is I just take the bonnet. If you have a bigger one, it's better because it's a lot of hair. But I just take the bonnet and I place it on my head like this. And then I just take the hair and I literally just stuff it up in here. Like so. Of course, you gotta protect those edges. So, let's take this scarf and it's a silky scarf. And you take it and you just wrap around the edges like so. And then you go to bed. And then you gotta kinda find the position that's comfortable to sleep in. And then in the morning, after you know I flipped on and everything, I kind of all I do is unwrap the scarf, take that off, take off the bonnet, and then shake my hair. This kind of fluff it up. Then to cover my part, so I took that extra hair out. I just take a few pieces. And just, you know, move them over to cover that up. Pretty much how I maintain and how I will continue to maintain my crochet braids over the duration. I don't know how long I'm going to keep them in, but I will continue to update you all on them. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram at Crazy Curls. I'll link all that in the description box below. I will also link all of the products that I use in this video down below so you can purchase them online or go to your local beauty supply store and buy them as well. So, hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.